Hello and welcome back to Inselectronics. So in today's episode, let's build a 12 volt AC adapter for this Creative M2600 2.1 home theater. Now, why an AC adapter? Because this says right here that it needs 12 volts AC. You see here. And this is a home theater. This is a 2.1 system that I bought from the scrap. I bought it for a much cheap price because the power supply was damaged and also the satellite speakers were also damaged so just this thing was there so you guys may probably seen my video of uh, repairing the damage of the woofer this woofer was having some air leak primarily due to some uh, holes in the woofer surround so i fixed it it's not opening right now but anyway it was fixed and i have basically i have three creative home theaters 2.1 multimeter speakers this is the third one that I am getting. That's the second one right there. The same model M2600. And this is the actual power supply that comes with it. Yeah, it's a 12 volt, 2.9 amps, uh, 230 volts AC adapter. So this is the actual adapter that comes with it. And that was damaged. And that's the reason why this was uh, given to the scrap. And also the air leak. The air leak was a major issue when it comes to uh, home theater subwoofers because it creates a whistling sound when the song is played. So it's due to these reasons, this thing was thrown to the scrap and I got it for a much lower price. Now I have all the things that is required to make an AC adapter. Let me show you all the things. So here is the transformer. This is a custom wound transformer. This is not a ready-made. This is made to order. This is a 12 volt 3 amp transformer. The price of this thing is around 400 rupees for this custom transformer and in this box I have all the metal and other cables and other things that is required to make a box for it. This this thing uh, is around 150 rupees for this set and I have the this is what I'm going to use probably as the DC as the AC output. It's a two core wire. It's a regular two core wire that's around uh, 12 rupees. This is a set of screws, deck accessories. So it comes with all the necessary screws for uh, building this kind of set. And it even has the base, you can see. And some other accessories. This is an AC cord for the transformer. And there's the switch for this. And I probably misplaced an LED and some things are not in here some pilot LED and other things which I misplaced but you get the point now in the base of this unit I already drilled a hole here you can can see I pre-drilled the holes uh, for this transformer so since it's an AC adapter there is nothing much uh, to deal with we can just directly connect it here connect everything and make it work so I'll be using some Philips speakers for this M2600 subwoofer which I'll show in a different video now let's get building so you guys can see that the surface is a little bit rusted it is just surface rust it is not anything critical but still you know if I rub my hand I can feel that it is a little bit rough it is not fully rusted or anything but since it is like this i wiped it away with some ip isopropyl alcohol and <coughs> now the surface is clean so let's give it a coat of spray paint now this is black spray paint so let's give a coat of it on top of the rusted area so to prevent it from further getting rusted let's do that Now all the corners are painted black, right now we can see it's still wet, so let's wait until this paint is dry. So see you after that.
So guys, here is the completed product. You can see the face are now stuck on properly. It's really beautiful and it has quite some weight to it because of the heavy transformer. It's a 12 volt 3 amp transformer as you all know. So it has some weight to it which gives it really nice feel. And I have connected everything properly. And here is the AC input line. This one here. If it can focus on that. And this is the auxin. This is the left and right channels. And right now for testing purpose I will be using these Mr. Light speakers. These two speakers just for the testing purpose but for real I'll be using these Philips speakers let me show you them so I have decided to go with these speakers at the satellites and when compared to this one you can see it's almost the same size but this one sounds much better because of the built-in tweeter and it's a proper Philips speaker so if you weigh both of these things this thing is really heavy I think this one is around it's more than half a kilo or something it's a Philips speaker you can see it's a 4 ohm speaker this thing weighs it has some weight to it compared to this one this is also heavy but when we're comparing these two it has some substantial weight to it so i'll be using these speakers with this particular home theater but right now because there is no connectors or anything fitted to it i'll be using these two for the demo purpose later on i'll be replacing it with these philips speakers let me keep them safe there and let's move on to this one, let's turn this one on. And you can see it's on. So let's play a song. Okay. So that's it. This is also working. Here is the subwoofer. That's it. The flickering you see here is because of the LED itself is acting as a rectifier here. There is no smoothing or anything. It's just a 1K resistor in series with the LED connected straight at the output of the 12 volt AC light. That's why you are seeing this flashing but it is no, it's not visible for the naked eye. Thanks for watching. See you with another video.